Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unboxed and today we're very excited to uh, bring you some footage of a new app uh, on Android that's actually now up and running and the first thing we've tried it on is the Pixelbook. We're actually trying to get it installed in the background on the Chromebook Plus as well. But it's an app that is taking the gaming world by storm, especially on mobile. It is none other than PUBG. And so a new update rolled out today, 0.5. It added a new map. It added um, some different changes to the arcade style of the game. And it's just one of those games that around the office and most people I know play on their phone. And so uh, we're excited to, to show you that it actually is up and running, working on the Pixelbook. Every time they update this game, it's the first thing that I do. I go and check and I, I open up PUBG to see if it'll open. And normally we would see this, it would go to a black screen and then we would get nothing. But much to my surprise and excitement today uh, with the 0.5 update, I figured, hey, we'll give it a try. And I saw this and I knew we were probably in business. And as a matter of fact, it's all working. Uh, so the latest update with all the latest cool stuff, sign in with your Facebook profile. It runs exactly like it would on your phone because it's an Android app after all. So it does exactly what it's supposed to. And it looks like they've added in 0.5. Yes, auto login. Great, because used to you had to hit Facebook every single time. But everything's here. So all the stuff that I've played earlier today, so missions and all that kind of stuff, all my stats are here with that Facebook login, so you won't miss a beat if you pick it up on here. A couple things I want to point out. We're going to show you just a little bit of gameplay. This is just now showing up on Chromebooks, and my guess is because most Chromebooks are low power, they've kind of restricted some of this stuff until they work it out probably for the different processors and the different Intel processors specifically, because it has worked on ARM processors this whole time, but it's the Intel processors that have been an issue. Uh, if we go to graphics and I try to go to HD, it says it's available on this device soon. So we all know that the uh, Core i5 in here is more than capable of handling some 3D graphics. But for right now, uh, you can do smooth or balanced. And since it's gonna be kind of lower quality, might as well go with smooth. Uh, frame rate is low medium. You don't get the high option. You do get the colored options and you can disable or enable the auto adjust on graphics. And so um, we'll go ahead and enable that and hit okay. But other than that, all your controls and everything are the exact same thing. So you can customize them to your liking. Uh, all the settings are the same. I did find out the gyroscope on here. I use it on my phone to kind of fine tune my aiming. Uh, it was wonky on here. It was like the axes were switched or something. So there's clearly some work to be done, but the game is running. So let's jump in real quick. We'll just do an arcade real fast. They have this new thing. I don't even know what this is yet. Um, but it looks like quick match or sniper training. Let's do quick match. Um, see if it limits it to that so i think with the sniper training it, it uh actually opens the map up quite a bit so you have some time to grab your stuff and actually try to work on some sniping stuff versus the other one is the the normal seven to eight minute match where they drop everybody to a really tiny circle uh this this expands that circle out just a little bit but if you're familiar with this game none of this stuff is new to you uh we're gonna load in on a screen real quick and uh, we'll get the game going so as you can see um, i mean textures are a little muddy in the background um, but you know everything runs pretty smooth I've played a couple matches already um, and, and while this isn't as easy to pick up and play as it is on my phone because on my phone's just in my pocket pop it out slap some earphones in and go uh, it's really cool just that it's gonna be available on this especially with um, some detachables coming out we know that there's a Qualcomm device coming out soon um, so, you know, just some of these new Chromebooks and different form factors, uh, games like this are gonna be big sellers uh, for Chromebooks. Some of you, I'm sure, oops, I just hit that. So this, I'm playing this at an angle, so I'm probably gonna suck real bad. Um, we, we needed to get the glare off the screen, so that's just kind of part of it. But some of you are gonna ask about keyboard support. I'm sure it was my first question. Uh, just as it has uh, from the get-go, keyboard support's there. Uh, it's just not uh, fully supported. So ASDW will move you uh, left, right, up, and down. Um, and since I'm floating around, heck, I can show you that. So I can actually, you can see I'm controlling this with the keyboard here. But the mouse isn't, isn't locked onto anything, so I actually get a mouse pointer. Now if I click down, I can control, but that doesn't really help me as far as shooting goes. So. Um, so yeah, mouse controls at this point, probably not something you're gonna use, I wouldn't think. Um, but hopefully that means maybe they'll think about it. Um, and you can do two finger scroll, it looks. Okay, so if you use two fingers, actually. Okay, so we got that. But nothing's uh, locked to, sh to shoot, so. 
Oop, there's a jump button. So I'm figuring this out as I go too. It'd be cool if there was a, just a shoot button, we'd be in good shape. Oop, nope, nope, nope. So heck, I'll go with that. So, oh, I can't look around. Okay, so two finger scroll does, eh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> this isn't really working. So you're probably gonna wanna play with on-screen controls for right now. But again, this is clearly a work in progress. Um, this, the chip inside this thing is, is very uh, well suited for graphics and can, can definitely do more than this is doing right now because this uh, is, is super simplistic and, and all the, the textures kind of look bland and all that kind of stuff. But frame rates are running and we're not getting a black screen. So that's a huge benefit. Uh, if I'm trying to talk while doing this, I'm gonna get killed anyway. So I'm just gonna keep running around just to show you, hey look, PUBG working on a pixel book. So let's switch over and see if we can make it work on the Samsung real quick. Puppy is still alive. Installing PUBG over here. Playing PUBG over here with no weapons. No guns, baby. Hashtag no guns. I'm going for second. Oh no. Ah! I see you. Third place, baby. No guns. All right, so now we're loading this thing up on, yeah, on the Samsung Chromebook Pro. So for those of you who have forgotten, this one is the Skylake, um, so sixth gen Core M3 with four gigs of RAM. So we're seventh gen i5 over there. The graphics are set to low on this one too, but, um, just fine, honestly. Um, I don't know where all the people are. I don't know if they're loading in slow or something. Where is everybody? I had to go guest account on this one, so that's why I'm a naked dude. Oh, here they all come. So it seems like maybe the load in is gonna be a little bit slower on this versus versus the Pixel Book. Got some flickering of a guy out here. Um, But we're decently responsive. And honestly, ultimately, I, that's really all I wanted to show you. Uh, the game runs on here too, so it's not just the Pixelbook. Uh, this is another different generation Intel Chromebook, but same way, the graphics have been limited even though it could probably handle more uh, if, if it were allowed to. And honestly, all that comes down to optimization. So they just got this thing out the door. I would probably assume in the next update or so, we'll actually see an optimized version for Intel chips and they can take full advantage of the graphics and the full CPU in these devices. But this is a huge step forward, guys. Um, seeing, seeing games like this, popular games coming to Chromebooks where there were glaring problems that made the game not work now they're working uh, so these are these are big steps in the right direction and uh, it's just an exciting time uh, with with Chromebooks in general just knowing that this kind of stuff's coming after IO seeing all the the work that's being put into the Chrome OS emulator for Android Studio just there's so many things happening uh, that are exciting in this space and we're just glad to be able to be here and cover it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up hit subscribe down below and uh, find me on PUBG if you play I'm the keeper t-h-e-k-e-e-p-r so uh, Look forward to seeing you out there. See ya.